Testing, testing. Look at us. Hey. All of us. All of us here. We got a fifth mic for John. Yeah. It's a big crew. The biggest podcast in the nation. Yeah, this is insane. <laughs> we look like a bunch of idiots. Yeah, we look like we look like we have a show we're talking about at the pa- Paley Center. <laughs> yeah, like we're the a, Curb Reunion panel. Is this a Q and A? Yeah, we're doing a live table read <laughs> of uh, yeah, we made Lethal Weapon Seven. We're right. always sunny. Yeah. <laughs> Just five Nepo babies talking about the uh, new Tuca and Birdie show that we made. <laughs> what is Tuca and Birdie? That was that stupid. That's uh, Bojack Horseman, but they're birds and they're uh, lesbians. Oh, oh so it's like the bad Bojack Horseman. Yeah, it's bad Bojack Horseman. Tuca and Birdie. Although I kind of, I kind of went sour on Bojack a little bit. Is Bojack? Not, I thought everyone loved Bojack. I thought it was. Well, it happened. was good, but it's just kind of like I don't know. It's just like you know, he's Go sad. Ahead. He fucked that little girl. What deer? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah and it's kind of like fucked up. Got a little too like emotional. Bojack for, Horseman wait, had like you know, a kind of cartoon about a horse. Yeah, with an, a sitcom. Hmm. Yeah, a washed up horse. Yeah, he went to visit his uh, friend from back in the day, and then he was staying with her, and then he fucked her. He tried to fuck his uh, daughter. her daughter. Yeah, who oh. was a deer. So was it was it like a commentary on like the Me Too movement and that type of shit, or no? I think it was just like, hey, this is how like low his life has fallen, oh. but he's a horse. You yeah, know, I the never whole watched time. it. Yeah, I can't really watch cartoons because <laughs> yeah. it's because they're it's not real. Yeah, Unless it's uh, tentacle porn, and then yeah. he's jacking off. Yeah. I could watch like Marge Simpson, like fuck Bart. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, Lois bangs uh, Stewie. <laughs> <laughs> the, the classics. The classics. That's yeah. like my favorite cartoon. Well, with Bonnie with a huge pair of tits. Yes, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. It goes SpongeBob and then all that. Yeah. <laughs> Is there? There's got to be SpongeBob porn too, right? Oh yeah, okay. oh, like oh yeah. Sword. Sandy cheeks, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sandy was everyone loves Sandy the mm-hmm. fucking uh, squirrel. The squirrel, yeah. Mm-hmm. She's great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just they're putting cum in her little uh, yeah. Yeah. tube. Squidward shoving his clarinet <laughs> up her twat. <laughs> Sandy <laughs> prolapse my anus. Yeah, I'd fuck Pearl that big whale bitch. Yeah, she's kind of hot. Oh yeah. yeah, Pearl. Yeah, she yeah. was like the yeah she was um yeah she was like the, the daughter, thick one. Yeah. She's the daughter of Mr. Krabs, the Megan the Stallion yeah. of the SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I watched porn where Johnny Bravo cucks um, <laughs> Homer Simpson. <laughs> oh, that rocks. No, I, I couldn't think of a better cuck than Homer. He's good. Yeah, he'd be a good. Cuck. I couldn't think of a better bowl than <laughs> He's Johnny. Good. Yeah, you're no. like actually thinking about it to yourself. Yeah. You're like, now that I think about it, Homer, it's a good. George cuck. Jetson would be a good cuck. Fuck, that was way. Better. That's too yeah. classic. <laughs> <laughs> you actually give it to me? <laughs> it, I mean, oh, no, it's fucking Flanders, dude. Flanders is ultimate cuck. Nah, he wouldn't be in the room, though. George Jetson would just be there yep. and, you know. But Johnny Bravo's Big robot there, lady like, fucking his wife. Yeah. That'd be a good cuck. J- uh, Judd Apatow would be a good cartoon cuck. Yeah. Whereas yeah. Judd Apatow is watching Paul Rudd fuck his wife. <laughs> 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 and a little ad on XNXX, mm-hmm. you know? The yeah. cartoon characters. <laughs> this is 40. You know, yeah. Pops this up. Was, <laughs> Even though it's in poor taste, he still gets his kids in there somehow. Yes, yeah, yeah. somehow his kids are watching <laughs> Paul Rudd fuck his wife. <laughs> that guy's whole whole career. His whole career. Yeah. I think he made it on purpose so he could have Paul Rudd fuck his wife. Yeah, and just four hour self indulgent movie. In movies. a four hour yeah. movie, yeah. Recreate his entire family except Paul Rudd is just pink socking his wife. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> pink socking his wife. <laughs> Yeah, every uh, Judd Apatow movie, there's like about an hour and a half where you're like, I didn't, I don't, I don't, I didn't need this. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just a whole nonsensical. Or it just kind of really falls apart. Yeah, they're always like two movies. It's Forty minutes you of his know. wife's pussy getting eaten by Adam Sandler for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or Adam Sandler. Yeah, it's like any Jew but me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is Apatow's, uh, yeah. That's the next movie title. Yeah. Any, any Jew, Jew but, but me. me. Just a long, long line of Jews coming yeah. out of a trailer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they got Milton Berle in there. Dude, uh, speaking of cucks, look, I mean, Jace sent me this clip the other day. Oh yeah, this guy. Oh, it's the yeah. definition of a broken man. This yeah, is yeah. on like soft white underbelly, right? Yeah, yeah soft white underbelly. Yeah. All right, let's check this. Great, out. makes me feel great about myself. I know, that. dude. This lady's huge. <laughs> oh wow, she got bigger. All right, hold on. This just went viral on Twitter the other day because it was it, really. Is sad. he wearing like a leather biker jacket? No, I didn't think that's that cool. I think he's wearing like Midwest emo guy oh, rolled sick. up sleeves. Yeah, man, that sucks. Yeah, looks like this, one of those cowboy shirts with the oh the stitch. He, does, he does have a biker look though. Yeah, yeah. You'd think he would be stronger. Like you'd think he'd be pissed about getting cucked. Oh, right. I, any guy with a beard like that, I always think they're tough. Yeah. yeah no, he's, he's a like, big teddy. This guy's bear. a little little teddy bear, and he's yeah. just. Right. You're just going to sit in the corner and watch. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. So you became the master kind of. I did. I am. Debbie, is there any way to do a little <laughs> audio out of the computer? And Dakota, how, how does so that sit hear. with you? Oh. I don't like it. Uh, no. I'll read their lips. 
<laughs> Fuck, I forgot. Yeah, we we John, did you? But you didn't need to buy a mic or uh, uh, headphones. Headphones. No, I just thought Joey never used them. Well, now he needs them. Yeah. Well, he uses now that I can't have my one. Now that he can't have my one. Put your heads right oh. next to each other and wear yeah. like a cute. Uh, yeah, date. do it like like re- do like do two idiots like, on an airplane. Two, we have two cans. <laughs> you know when you see two dipshits yeah, yeah. on an airplane, yeah. they're trying to have like a mo- like a five hundred days of summer moment. Yeah. Yeah. Come here, baby. <laughs> like, oh, we're Get watching uh, the Incredibles <laughs> two <laughs> together. Ooh, yeah, yeah, this is adorable. This is the gayest thing I've ever done. I feel really comfortable right now. You guys look hot. I like it. Yeah, I'm close enough. This is like a lady in the tramp moment. You sure? Yeah, yeah, you guys, you guys, I gonna, almost you can, fell in love I'm, with you. I'm kind of horny. Right I, <laughs> I didn't have headphones last step. You can kind of hear it if you just yeah, pay attention. I can do. I can hear it on that for sure. Right, we're yeah. good to go. Mm-hmm. You sure? Just put your ears against John like it's a, a uh, seashell. Here, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're good. You guys ready? You're yeah. good. All right. I enjoy it. You enjoy it. So mm-hmm. funny that we're acting like we're doing something important. <laughs> Yeah, Joey's yeah. like, all right, let's go. Let's all go. systems yeah. go. You're yeah, like, we're analyzing like <laughs> yeah. crime footage, yeah. like you know, or like, like a G8 summit. Yeah, like they killed our mom. <laughs> T minus yeah. eight, seven, six. It's like four brothers. <laughs> systems yeah. nominal. Devin's like winding up the mic distance. With yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. So, yeah. so what, what, what does this really look like? I mean, <laughs> Sarah will bring home men, or tell me what what happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she'll bring home guys or uh, or a McDonald's or, meat guys or, or a hotel or <laughs> stuff. Sarah cheats on me with all sorts of places. Mm -hmm. Carl's Jr. (laughs) Bacon cheddar from Arby's. Anytime there's a new promotion. Fucking a roast beef. Sticking my cock in the au jus. (laughs) The the horsey sauce. When the McRib comes back, I know I ain't going to see her for a couple (laughs) (laughs) weeks. She's got to make do for the territories, brother. Oh, brother. Tell me about it. Hey, man, when that shamrock shake comes into town, (laughs) I just get myself a room at the Motel 6. I know I won't be seeing her. I can't watch that. That coming home, she's fucking a Shrek like drink. Yeah, she's fucking a black guy with the jack in the box head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just eating my munchie meal in the corner. She's getting she railed out by the anthropomorphic Burger King they had from the mid 2000s. But right. I, I just keep eating my mini tacos yeah. and look at the ground. The hamburgers eating yeah. ground. <laughs> Gr- Grimace is fucking Grimace. with the biggest stick you've ever seen. <laughs> I know you're going to draw that next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grimace just has a tube he, he pulls out. <laughs> she's bringing him home. Yep. He's, like this guy's losing his mind. Yeah. <laughs> These are just r- random guys you'll meet? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I have a black-only preference, so mm. all of them are black, but yes. Look at him just and they're, the I've made them on websites, or I've given my number out to people and random and just invited them over, like a guy through a drive through Oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I knew that's her watering hole. Well, that's drive through. That's the only place she's going to meet guys. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, can I get more of that Polynesian sauce? <laughs> <laughs> Dripping it on her. You know, Chick fil A, Popeyes, KFC, you know, any of those drive throughs. Yeah. yeah, I've been cheating that's on them. I've been cheating on them with the Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel eats my pussy and dabs his mouth with a little handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> so sweaty like he's in an old courtroom. He spit, spit roast me. I call it the double down. <laughs> I wish they'd bring Colonel, that back, yeah, by the way. Colonel really put my, my pussy in a famous bowl. You see, <laughs> with a little corn on a it. A good corn on it. <laughs> see, you could, uh, you could fuck uh, a KFC and it's keto. <laughs> you can get the double down. It's grilled chicken. But it is funny. Like The only place she's going to meet people is is fast food That's restaurants, yeah. hometown yeah. buffet, or like Kmart to like buy more diapers yeah. or whatever. Oh yeah, That's date it. night is like I just she goes to Wawa. Right. Yeah, <laughs> she just finds some other fat pig walking out of there with a colostomy bag, and they yeah. both they empty them together. That maybe that's like the sex, like they just empty each other's bags and <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they push get them all together the shit on them, and they're like, oh, yeah. she's they, at a dialysis center. Yeah. <laughs> they go to a good Davida. They yeah. push yeah. their Davida. late nights at Davida. Yeah, they just, they just uh, heal each other's bed sores. <laughs> yeah, uh. they push their bag holes together like birds, like Kawakos. <laughs> <laughs> so I gave him my number and he showed up that night. <laughs> and this happens how often? She's having so much fun. And I try to do it inside. Yeah. You can at see least this guy's once or twice a week. Imagine but killing work, himself. You know, yeah. it's really hard. He's just looking you, you around for any color that's yes, not black. Yes, we work full time. Yeah. But you, I, I do it every opportunity I can when I get free time. Twice the past week? Yeah, twice so far. <laughs> He's like, I, I, I'd rather fuck you- the blue man group. <laughs> <laughs> Always black. 
<laughs> if I was you, him, I would just sit. lie and be like, yeah, that's my fetish. I would yeah, like doing, doing this. He's trying yeah. to, he's but he's, it. He's, he's like he laughing. keeps forgetting he's on camera and everyone can tell his soul is <laughs> killed <laughs> by this, by this uh, monster he's dating. He's a monster, too. In the, in the room and watch? Hmm. The watch and record and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I won't. Yeah. Yeah, whatever the guy will be behind me do stuff. <laughs> so wait, 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 wait. I put on like instrumental. Yeah, I put on a, a referee's uniform. Yeah, I, put on a, I put on a referee uniform. I dress like a Foot Locker employee, and I just I get I blast Jay Dilla <laughs> as my wife gets railed by a. I have a TSA wand that I carry around. Yeah. <laughs> Experience of this is it humiliating? Is it uh, tantalizing? Is it exciting? Is it what is it? He's like, I mm. love it. it. It is humiliating, but it's also <laughs> sexy to watch a guy. She doesn't know what that word means. I can. It's almost like she's like, see, he likes it. Porn. <laughs> Do you think porn is what kind of led you into this? No, I think the fact that she's a big, fat, ugly whore that's dead set on ruining my life is the reason she did it. <laughs> he just starts getting all real. Yeah. I think marrying this skank bitch is hey, what did it. Hey, maybe marrying this skank next to me did it. <laughs> Looking over maybe at being a sensitive big man who married a manipulative, succubus, <laughs> fat whale of a woman is what did it to me. He's like, this ain't even a dress. This is a tablecloth. <laughs> You know what it's like to buy clothes for your wife at Bed Bath and Beyond? <laughs> not really. Being a voyeur? No. Not not really. Yeah, he's not even into it. I think it, it, it went like, from no, I hate it. us doing like threesomes and swinging and to us both realizing that it was more fun if I was just watching and she was playing with the guys. She, he's going to pick up different guys. He's like, I got back from Iraq and I come home and she's banging Migos. <laughs> <laughs> Offset. Off the whole crew. They're all there. Guys each time? Well, I've got my regulars that I like, but yeah, I cycle through guys some, sometimes. <laughs> Unless I find a leg reel that I really, really like, and then I'll play with him quite a bit. But you're hmm. more closely bonded with Dakota than these all, all these other guys, I assume, right? Oh, yes, yes. Most definitely. But you're with <laughs> other men like four times a week? What bond? <laughs> you're not, not going to leave Dakota for somebody that you... Never. Meet. Never. <laughs> Yeah, because nobody else will put will yeah, else will put them, No, sorry, not gonna happen. What are you kidding me? <laughs> it's you're gonna take me, and and yeah. then he's gonna be there whether you like it or not. <laughs> it's it's him or sex life that continues with Dakota. No, you date him or fat bastard. So you guys don't you have got, sex. You got two no. options yeah. in the world. Not in the traditional sense. No, not in the traditional sense at all. Uh, they don't even oh, really? fuck. So <laughs> I actually didn't Dakota, get this far in the video. Oh my god! Yeah, he's they're admitting that they don't even do anything. Oh my god! Oh. Really, I feel like we need to go on a mission to save this guy. This yeah. poor guy, <laughs> yeah. dude. Where is he? With anyone? Not anymore. Not anymore. Mm -mm. God, we gotta save the code. Where do you see this progressing? <laughs> this is, it's unusual. It's like Black Hawk Down. Bro. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> I mean, like this guy, you know, where they're flying the helicopters, helicopter. playing ACDC <laughs> over the over Mogadishu. Mine. He's mine. I control what he does. I just picture him so Sarah. Uh, uh, so you're all the partners. He's like, sometimes I come home and she's just sitting on the couch playing somewhere over the rainbow on the ukulele. <laughs> she's shooting Doritos Locos tacos out her snatch. <laughs> Big naked black men running in the room, catching them like footballs. <laughs> like it's a jugs they, machine. They call it training. <laughs> <laughs> they call it the combine. Uh, they do call it a jugs machine, by the way. A jugs machine? Yeah, yeah. The thing that shoots the balls that out? That shoots the balls out, a yeah. A jug machine. Jugs. J-U-G-S. Yeah. Interesting. Jugs machine. Mm, okay. Yeah. To bring in the African American men, how, how do they compare to Dakota as a sexual partner? <laughs> way uh, fucking better. Uh, <laughs> they fucked me way mm, better. Yeah, I mean, come on now. Yeah, you can answer. <laughs> They're just a lot better than I am, honestly. Uh, oh, no. Several times bigger. <laughs> oh, no. The the black men are mm -hmm. much more well endowed than you are. Yeah, they're much much better than I this am. This guy's got to be on Stormfront every yeah, fucking time. Yeah. You know it. <laughs> you know he's like, he, he gets the, he gets like yeah. the one racism pass there is. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, no, this guy can. This when four hundred yeah. black guys are just railed down yeah. your wife. Yeah, <laughs> Reverend Have Jackson comes in right now. <laughs> uh, like, I I declare. <laughs> you can say the N word now. Yeah, big, uh, one big card, you get to be racist. <laughs> he's like rhyming. <laughs> And it's oh, like Willy fuck. Wonka's golden ticket. Yeah, it's a big check. <laughs> Running through the streets, yeah, waving it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I had more fun with them. 
She's louder. She seems to enjoy it more. I was like, there's a reason I like doing it in my bedroom and not in hotel rooms. I'm the fuck <laughs> doing it in the comfort of my own home and not in the hotel room where there's walls on either side. Doing it in the comfort of my double steel reinforced bed frame. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying my bed was made by Tesla. <laughs> da- Dakota actually hired a team of underwater welders to make my bed. <laughs> We had to pay them $400 an hour. It's a union gig. <laughs> My bed is the only bed in America that needs a levy. <laughs> Obviously, Dakota has evolved to a point where your happiness is more important than his pride. Yes. Jesus. A lot of men won't do that, and that's probably half the problem. I would say 99.9% of men won't do that. that that's a lot of problems with the world. <laughs> Men need to be a little bit more humble and listen to their women. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus Christ. <sighs> the next video is just Judd Apatow sitting there next to <laughs> Leslie Mann. She's like, yeah. I just, I would only date a man that, that uh, <laughs> got into Hollywood and became the most successful comedy director possibly of all time. And I knew that he would let me fuck other men in the movies. <laughs> That's my fetish. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, how does Adam Sandler compare to your husband, Judd Apatow? <laughs> He's much more well-endowed than yeah. me. Now, Judd Judd Apatow. He's got bigger DC skate shoes than Judd. <laughs> <laughs> he wears longer basketball yeah. shorts. They're like, he has Judd, the biggest uh, shorts I've ever seen. He's way worse. They're like, Leslie, does Judd ever, does he have you bring black men into the bedroom? And they're like, she's like, absolutely not. Have you not seen his movies? <laughs> <laughs> no, no black men in any of them. I mean, you know, he only found Craig Robinson like seven years into his career. <laughs> he, he tried to bring Gerard around, but he couldn't get hard. <laughs> that dude with the one hand from Happy Not from Happy Gilmore. Oh, Chubbs Peterson. <laughs> what? What happened to it's him? Paul Creed. Carl oh, Weathers. Pa- oh my God. Yeah. yeah, Carl Weathers. Holy shit! Yeah. Is he alive? He was also in Predator. Yeah, and, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Guy's arm chopped off. You know, it was the sweaters he was wearing. I didn't recognize how ripped. That's he was fair. Yeah, you can't yeah. tell a black guy when he's wearing sweaters. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't know he jacked. He's like, is that yeah. Bill Cosby? <laughs> <laughs> John has African American face blindness. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know they just blend together yeah. after a while. Oliver Sacks has been studying you for his new book. <laughs> Wait, who wore us? What? What are you talking about? Who wore and, and Happy Madison? I didn't realize it was Carl Weathers because he was wearing oh, and the Happy yeah. Ma- Happy yeah. Gilmore. He had all those sweaters on and shit. Where's that jack? Everyone. Was. Are, this is so many people doing a podcast. We have to tell stories to the person <laughs> yeah. on the end. It's, it's, it's like it's like the transatlantic railroad happening. <laughs> It's like being on an airplane. Like, what are you guys talking about? (laughs) Yeah, like when you're eating with friends, but it's the only thing in a diner. It's just the booths. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Somebody's sitting at the counter. (laughs) Keeps flipping his chair around. Like, what? (laughs) What are you guys talking about? You guys talking about me? Uh, so did you guys hear uh, DeSantis? He like uh, he uh, he shipped a bunch of immigrants. Shipped a bunch of immigrants to Martha's Vineyard. I didn't know he shipped them. I thought they just showed up. No, they put them in a plane. That's they actually, awesome. They actually tricked them because they didn't know what was happening. They're just like, get in the plane, and then they just took off, and they were like, what did the people think, dude? Oh, well, I mean, no, one's, no one's happy about it. it. They thought it was great. Yeah, they were like no, super uh, stoked. It's, it's, it's very performative, I think. Also, didn't even know you could do that. I mean, they're illegal. How do you get them? They're kind of like Pikmin. You just can kind of like hurt them and throw them anywhere you want to put them. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, I mean, yeah, what are they going to do? Say no? They're well, the whole illegally. point that he did it, right, is to be like, like oh, really? The liberals love uh, immigration? Like, yeah. Okay, here Martha's Vineyard, like, 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 you know, take some, take some. yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. Now the d- now the lobster rolls have picante in them, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is also funny, like owning the libs by spending like twenty five grand on plane tickets, right? So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're owning the libs, you by have like spending the, a lot your state like pays the least amount of taxes of any state versus <laughs> the contributions you take in. Well, I don't even know what's what they Arriving? what do they do now? State officials scrambling. They moved them into a shelter, like immediately. They basically like uh, they're like, okay, get them the fuck out of here. Flown into Martha's Vineyard. Some of these people, I've been told, traveled. By the way, shelter is probably some border. fucking hellhole. Oh, it's um, horrible. And yeah, we're, we're sent flip here thing over. In, a, in an airplane with very little information you about where they're away? going. Is that easier they're... for you? <laughs> <laughs> I could take those from you, buddy. Don't make me try. <laughs> could you turn <laughs> those up, Officials Devin? Say two charter John, my ears are they're, they're up. About Fifty oh people, God, uh, including sorry, children, Joe. at around three p.m. It's manipulating people who are in very dire circumstances they, you know, purely they, uh, for they put all the immigrants in striped vineyard vines Dylan to jam this photo 
saying 50 beds have been supplied by local social services. <laughs> yeah, like, with funny, the funny. Medical <laughs> care. Having a great time. Oh, with the Magic migrants! mattresses. <laughs> 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 He's like, they're afraid! <laughs> they're really afraid! <laughs> they miss their families! <laughs> they miss their families so much! So much crying here, bro! What's up? <laughs> Woo! Baba Booey, Howard Stern's butthole! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Juan, say Howard Stern's penis. Say it. <laughs> How, Howard Stern's penis. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> Senior Stern. Senior Stern. Where is Beetlejuice? All the people in Massachusetts. Juice Beetle? Martha's Vineyard's in Massachusetts, right? Uh, yeah. So all the people in Massachusetts, they're like, well, they don't even know what, they're like, we don't even have a fucking slur for them yet. Yeah. <laughs> I've never even seen these people you before. You a bunch of Southern Puerto Ricans up here. What are these? <laughs> Jesus Christ! And then the Red Sox, like they're like, oh, the home run statistics are going through the roof. All right, keep them here, keep them here. <laughs> yeah, they keep walk- they keep getting mistaken for Pedro Martinez. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, pull up my pants and uh, yeah. call Martha's Vineyard my daddy. Yeah. No ma, loved you, dude. Why are you wearing a construction outfit? Ah, <laughs> uh, you spilled Red Bull all over. Classic podcast uh, mistakes. Podcast Red mistakes. Bull everywhere. Know, at least it wasn't. Hey, at least it wasn't liquid death. You yeah. know that would have been oh, really man. bad. Liquid death. <laughs> oh, water do it. made by Marines. <laughs> All Marines do. They just come back and they're like, it's coffee, but it'll fucking fuck you up. <laughs> fuck you. I'm not fucking gay. Yeah. <laughs> Sniper orange juice. Yeah. You got orange fucking juice. Yeah. <laughs> I, have to, I have to shot my masculinity with everything hey. I do. Headshot. <laughs> Headshot jerky. <laughs> Uh, when the jerky's so good it blows your fucking brains out <laughs> when I'm in fucking Kuwait I need a moisturizer that doesn't make me feel like I'm rubbing calm on my face uh, it's only the only moisturizer made out of pussy juice it's got a cause we're not gay we're not gay, we're not gay. You know, ex-marine <laughs> I only consume products with skulls on them there better be a fucking skull on all the food I eat <laughs> burger shop and we stamp a, a, a skull of a dead Iraqi on the bun. Just like Wahlburgers. It's called Drone Strike Mikes. Oh, you, go to Wal- you go to Wahlburgers, the bun has a, Viet- a blinded Vietnamese man on it. You come to mine, it's a fucking dead Iraqi. Abu Karab Burgers. <laughs> Dude, I was looking. I was looking because you know I screwed my back up. I was looking for uh, back foam rollers. Yeah, and I found. I was just shopping through. Them. I found a foam roller that was camo, which was really making uh, me laugh. Just like, <laughs> my back hurts, but I'm not. It's not from getting fucked in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then just out of instinct, I googled Punisher yoga mat, and it got oh, no, oh, oh, no. oh my god! Of course. Punisher. I love the idea that there's a guy. <laughs> That's amazing. I know a guy in a yoga class with like big beard. Chase a guy. Special ops hat. A guy DDP in the middle. Yoga. A guy in the middle of battle, but he's like, my back needs to be stretched, and he pulls out his camo yeah. fucking roller. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just imagine a guy in a yoga class, big um, fucking rubber, black rubber wedding ring because it's the oh, least yeah. gay ring. Yeah. yeah. Piece of jewelry, just like trying to get in touch with his cheese. This, this ring's made out of a comet. Like that's just so fucking gay. <laughs> God, I don't know. He's just cracking me up, man. Everyone in Boston's like, "Hey, did you hear DeSantis? He shipped a whole bunch of David Ortiz's down to Martha's Vineyard." <laughs> the uh, Sox like- are gonna win the pennant again, dog. <laughs> And then they're like, what the fuck is this? They're all small. Yeah, they're tiny. There's a bunch of them. They're like nine. Why are they all so fat? They do construction. I don't get it. Why are they all shaped like just that? Just people in Boston, just their minds are blown by yeah. Mexicans. Yeah. They're like, what the hell what is the, a Mexican? What the hell is going on? Wait, this is from Mexico? What even is this? You guys are like tiny black people? <laughs> so you guys like live west of Texas is what you're saying. <laughs> They have no idea there's a real Mexico. They're like fucking DeSantis shipped no country for old men over there. <laughs> <laughs> the, everyone in Boston is like, I don't know. I guess they're making another fucking Desperado out here. <laughs> Tarantino, it's just no movie. 
They came, they were you know, hungry and thirsty, understandably. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' office telling they the Florida legislature... They made him fly Southwest, too. Yeah. million dollars to uh, transport and Really? Southwest? Uh, $12 million. States to states they deem this cost $12 million? That's crazy, bro. Really? To fly 50 people. To well, it's, it's just to play to his base to right. get votes when he runs. Yeah, Isn't he's he trying a to billionaire win the or something? Yeah. What? Isn't he like a billionaire? I have no it's idea. I, I was just reading something that his son is about to raise more money for a governor than ever before in history for any governor. So they have some weird access to a fuckload of money. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I this guarantee is probably you there's nothing. some sort of Cuban joint thing because they're like, you know. Oh, all, Cubans are like sponsoring I it? I guarantee you there's like is a lot. Is he Cuban? Of, he's Cuban, right? Oh, or is okay. he Italian? What is this? I don't know. He I speaks, he was Cuban. Like, he speaks like Trump, which is kind of weird. Have you seen him speak? No. He literally goes, we're going to ship him up. Yeah. We're going to ship him to Boston. My favorite <laughs> song by... God, I wish I could remember that band name. <laughs> Fuck. Dropkick Murphys? By Dropkick Murphys. <laughs> ship him up to Boston. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be just like the town. Like accordions playing. Yeah, accordions playing. <laughs> dan, dan, dan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a migrant worker. <laughs> I'm on a plane. <laughs> I'm on a plane. <laughs> Shipping illegals to Boston. Oh. It's like a fucking South Park. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh god! Yeah, the departed, but he's just trying to infiltrate the Latino gangs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, you better put a fucking shamrock on that green card, buddy. <laughs> uh, Boston shit. saying states like Massachusetts, New York, and California will better facilitate the care of these individuals who they have invited into our country by incentivizing illegal immigration through their designation as sanctuary states and support the Biden administration's open border policies. We're going to respond and we're going to support these <coughs> families respond. and provide uh, some humanity. Governor Charlie Baker's office responding to the move, saying the baker Polito administration is in touch with local officials. Re well, we get it. I Baker Polito responded saying it's hella gay and dumb <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> uh, you guys, yeah, it's just so like performative is really the yeah. Thing. That's it's you're just, ruining fifty people's lives as yeah. for a performative for a action yeah. for your for your for your base mm -hmm. yeah, basically yeah. yeah for like your Kennedy Kenny Chesney concert fans mm -hmm. or whatever. Also, how is it not illegal if they're undocumented? That's what well, I so that's get. the thing is they're yeah. not even illegal aliens. I was looking into this. They're like actually people who cross the border like processed through, but they haven't been like approved. Oh, they got like arrested. They haven't been border, like approved yeah. for oh, okay, yeah know. living in the U.S. Well, what I don't understand is like, aren't they better off? up there like if i was a little yeah, i'd be like i'd be like yeah fuck yeah send me up there i'd like, rather be cool. in martha's fuck vineyard than like yeah. some yeah. shithole in florida yeah. tampa yeah. they all put yeah. on big cashmere sweaters they tie <laughs> around there <laughs> they, they, shoes. they yeah. run through abercrombie before they get them yeah. up there <laughs> <laughs> well so the response to it's going to be performative as well so they're probably yeah. going to get the fucking red carpet rolled well somebody them. made a great a lot of people made a great point on Twitter. It's like you don't like nobody loves performative small actions like this than like North State liberals. Like yeah, so they're gonna take care yeah. of all these exactly. guys. Exactly. And now so nothing is gonna get addressed for like yeah. the bigger issue. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're gonna love it. They're yeah. gonna eat it up. It'll be like their little little tiny Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Your own personal Ukraine. Mm -hmm. There you yeah. go. You I guarantee you there's like a six year old woman who's like waking up in the morning in Martha's Vineyard and she's like, Oh now I have something to do. I'm gonna go down there and give them cupcakes or yeah. some shit. I them. bet there's like fundraisers, they're all gonna oh, have yeah, a million yeah. bucks. Oh yeah. yeah. They're like, yeah, yeah. Here, I have a bunch of madra shorts you all can oh yeah. <laughs> yeah like here's i got i brought cupcakes but look at there's a little there's a little jalapeno on there. <laughs> <laughs> that's for you that's for you Juan. okay don't you go raping my daughter now <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. you're well you're welcome everywhere don't come to my neighborhood <laughs> you're welcome all over here just not this <laughs> yeah. no yeah. stabby stabby yeah i do have a sniper's laser on you right now you're welcome <laughs> wherever you want to go uh <laughs> okay yeah i mean I, you hope they turn around they all get like jobs up there like for the rich yeah. people or something but yeah it's just very that's yeah, stupid. It's sad it's just this it's just another it's sad to make a point and ruin point. 50 people's lives yeah, yes yeah. but at the end of the day it's not over till we win that's true okay it's not over till we win what is this Rick political Trump, you guys there's a maga rapper oh fuck maga, maga jackson. jackson maga jackson and it's I'm not over till we win turn listen to this shit Let's go, it's Trump cards. White guy, white guy. I don't know what's happening. I don't know who's Is that the Cam guy. Newton. No, <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy hey, dancing in church. Anticipate certain things. Can't think the the war is over, but it's just getting started. It's not over till you win. What the fuck? 
fuck? <laughs> looks like a Michael Jackson impersonator. I know. He looks like when Ryan Gosling put on that fake mask at the end of Drive, but like a black <laughs> one. <laughs> it does. This dude looks like that, that, that fucking mask that he wears in Drive. Yeah, he's got like a big fake rubber head. <laughs> or when they robbed the fucking bank at the beginning of, uh, what's that, Rafty Brothers movie? The word fake black Yeah, guy yeah. Mask? Well, it's because yeah, it's a white looks... guy in blackface. Shut the fuck up. No, I'm oh, kidding. Jesus but like, what, Christ, what black dude, dude would agree to do God this? Him, it's like MAGA song. I mean, it does, it does kind of <laughs> look like that, honestly. It looks yeah. like yeah, it yeah. looks like three kids in a trench coat and they did blackface. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the little yeah. rascals MAGA edition. Yeah. yeah, the Republican Party has figured out a way to CGI a fake black man into existence. <laughs> but he's got the Michael Jackson glove too. Yeah. <laughs> This is the most attractive black guy they can find. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you could tell me this is the, the number one song in the country, and I wouldn't know. No, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not yeah. Yeah. If it was on. If like, you're like, yeah, this is a new Post Malone. It's been number one for 500 weeks. I'd be like, yeah, sure. Yeah, you'd be listening to it. And you're just like, I guess Post Malone's like a Trumper now. Yeah, I don't know. I've been listening to Gene Rafferty for two years. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these poor kids just yeah. like indoctrinated into this. Like I they, know. Th this is what's so sad about this day and age is that like, why do children give a fuck about politicians? Right. Yeah. Like, that never happened. Oh, it's so sad. It's just them like their parents making yeah. them do, and they want to make their parents happy. It's yeah. very, mm. very unfortunate. So also, sad. these kids are probably old enough to have the internet, so they might just like they got into it for like the memes and shit. Mm -hmm. They're on 4chan or whatever, and yeah. they, they might actually like it. Yeah, yeah Fortnite. Right. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. the radicalized by Fortnite. Yeah. Stand up. Excuse me, I'm oh sorry, Your Honor. Your no, I'm not here for the drama. I think that we got the wrong president. I could put also, he is doing water. white guy dancing. He's dancing yeah. like a white guy. Where well, you don't move your feet at all. Yeah. Yeah. His yeah. hips are so yeah. sick. Yeah. Yeah. He's got OJ's hips. It's not all about commas, yeah. but I know something oh about karma. Yeah. She wear a very long dress, yeah. and she can cause so well, much drama. How you got money for saunas? But families are saving like farmers. Looking for you, you're a gardener. This guy's a farmer. Yeah, I mean, he has white cowboy boots. Yeah. Maybe. This is ridiculous. I wish nothing upon you. I'm getting nothing but stronger. Don't try to use my past to say that I can't you. I'm around like Oh, here we go. Here's the guy. He's coming in. The white guy is he spits. Is he the guy from the what's that rap song where it's the MAGA guy rapping to the black? I'm not oh, racist. Joiner Lucas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, not I'm not racist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That ruined that. my life the week that came out. Yeah, that got him complete. That got him famous. Yeah, yeah. That thing. No, everybody was like, "You look exactly like that guy." I was like, "Fair point." Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> from the I'm not racist. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. I forgot that. Oh, it ruined my whole week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> People always told me, they were like, "Are you Joiner Lucas?" <laughs> <laughs> This is not a real person, this guy. Yeah, he totally fits in those boots. It does feel like it's Eric Trump somehow. Like, yeah, it's yeah. Like, <laughs> with it's a disguise. Donald Trump Jr. Yeah. in a disguise. <laughs> yeah. I would love to see the Hustle and Flow movie made about this guy. Yeah. <laughs> just him in the trap house somewhere. Hey, man, yeah. I've been just having these thoughts like, like, <laughs> I think we're just short, like 12,000 votes, man. Like, he's in Memphis. Yeah. He's like, ain't the size of the dog in the fight. <laughs> Size of the fight in the voting machine. Yeah. <laughs> Just egg crates and Mike hanging from a clothes hanger. Yeah. <laughs> we gonna make it out the hood, man. We gonna make it. See, a man is a man. And a man votes for Donald Trump. Yeah. He gives this mixtape to Alex Jones. Yeah. <laughs> At the end, Alex Jones. <laughs> yeah, throws it in the toilet. It's Alex his Jones big hustle. Is, yeah. <laughs> It's it's in the fuck, toilet. fuck your shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> fuck your shit. No, yeah, he's sitting coward. there. He, he, he's coward. coward. <laughs> he's sitting there at the toilet. <laughs> this tape's gonna fry my brain. I know it. You're sitting by the deep state. He goes to the bathroom stall. He's like ripping yeah. it apart. Yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, he's sitting across the table from Alex Jones. He's like, "Fuck happened to you, man? <laughs> fuck happened to you, man?" <laughs> Fuck. What well, fuck happened to you? I remember, I remember when you were just selling mixtapes at the back of your tank. <laughs> fuck happened to you, man. Uh, <laughs> you were just going to Bohemian Grove, bro. What, what? Uh, fuck happened to you, man. Oh, that's great. <laughs> 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 Alex, yeah. Alex Jones yeah, yeah. plays skinny black. Yeah. <laughs> fuck happened to you? Uh, <laughs> I was the biggest rapper of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. This guy's getting ready to, to fucking to spit. Trump had on like 
of course I hit the lottery. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Is that guy white? Yeah, yeah, it's a white dude. He's one of those white guys where they just get like a they like they, up, they line yeah. their beard up and yeah. they're, they're yeah. black all of a sudden. Well no, they're like they're like, I could probably pass for Dominican so I can say it. More <laughs> yeah. <than> exactly. <laughs> Putting shoe polish yeah. in their yeah. hair. They're like, if I get a really big tan, I could be Dominican maybe. <laughs> I think the Trump rapper's probably saying it anyway. Yeah. I don't think it matters that much to him, the parameters. <laughs> Pressure pills was hard to swallow When things get more mixed up Than Meghan Markle You might end up God, stop bogarting the mic, asshole I hope he never hears this Please don't take that to the heart, yo Cause I was doing time with nobody And that's hard, yo If you got somebody in prison Send them a card, though Money on his canteen A little food to swallow What is this dude's rap? Now he's talking about Yeah, put money on your buddy's book Yeah, it's really going off face yeah. yeah, he just slowly starts rapping about his life, just like completely gets more increasingly irrelevant. <laughs> Suffocated my mom last week. Yeah. Suffocated my mom last week. And if you didn't pay your taxes from 2015 to 2017, you still got to do them. My son, They're going to come for you on that. My son just outed me for being there on January 6th. <laughs> He's going to court to, uh, He's like, to deliberate against me. He's sprinting into Congress yeah. in those fucking boots. <laughs> yeah, he was like, so you're trying to do Michael Jackson moves, but he yeah. falls and trips. Yeah, moonwalking into the <laughs> Senate. <Nancy Pelosi's laughs> office. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, moonwalking with the fucking Buffalo Soldier guy or whatever. <laughs> Is that guy wearing a mask? Everybody's like fucking... Jesus. Yeah, he's there with Insurrection Nima. This guy never rapped. Okay. <laughs> no, like Here we go. Your race. We gon' push back hard. Real patriot, just keep your faith. Okay. We at war right now. I'm trying to stay focused and maintain. maintain. But they trying to play us. Yes. They lying to us every day. I know Big Trump got us. Trump. Big Tech robbed us. Oh. Counting his plot and <laughs> Vaccines, they trying to kill us off. I, also, I love <laughs> vaccines. They trying to kill us <laughs> off. <laughs> trying to kill us <laughs> Just like, yeah. like just Drake. like, like on the bus, just yeah. like they trying to kill. They us trying all to kill the him. vaccine. I'm in the six, avoiding the vaccine <laughs> with your bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I also do love uh, Amish Puerto Rican beard when the guy can't yeah, throw yeah. the connectors. Yeah. He's got a <laughs> tattoo on his like lower lip. Really? What does it say? I don't can know. Can you see it? Are you sure it's not his beard? These are like 12 years old. Oh, girls, oh no, it is. Yeah, he's also dancing yeah. with the why little it, Why are they facing? Oh, he's protecting like, them. He's like, like QAnon, QAnon we saved the kids. And they're like, now show <laughs> your tits, 12 year old. Yeah, now shake your ass a little bit. Shake your ass. While we pour some Cristal on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't pour Cristal. They pour some Baja Blast yeah. on that shit, baby. Like, <laughs> they think Cristal is Crystal Light. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's great. Yep, that's a good pun. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yep, really fucking these guys up. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Yo, you better back up, back on me. I'm a man they got, but stop pushing your agendas on me. Stop it's pushing your agendas on me. Also, he's in a cinnamon roll shop. Did you see that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can, right, go back? Can you oh, go back a, literally two seconds? Cinnabon? That's his job. Look at that. <laughs> 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 cinnamon. Cinnamon rolls. <laughs> Saul, Saul is his manager. Oh, my God. All of my veterans shit all around this country. Free Jimmy McGill. You know we trying to stop the stealing. All right. Yeah, it's like crazy. Drake. Jesus uh, fucking Christ. Oh, man. They want us to get the boosters nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> nonstop. <laughs> zero, just, uh, you yeah, randomly zero, see Lupe yeah, Fiasco yeah. come in for a verse. <laughs> yeah. Z zero, two, three th shots real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I love Maga Jackson. Uh, Maga Ma Jackson. That is a pretty good name, Catchy honestly. Name, it's yeah. a great name. It's like way, Magic Jackson. Way better than the white guy. Action Jackson. Oh, I think that might have been, yeah. yeah. For. What is that? The, the white guy's name For is Forgiato Blow. Yeah. Forgiato? What a terrible name. Forgiato? I don't know. Oh, is he trying to do like 4G instead of 5G? I guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Didn't even think of that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, He's this will all be clever. coming back soon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be amazing. He might get indicted, though, uh, Trumpy. Nah. True. It, they're saying it's looking more and more likely. None of it's real. They. <laughs> you know, they've they, been saying that for yeah. fucking Teflon oh, Don, dude. They He's a Teflon Don, dude. I love Teflon. him. I don't think He's my hero. <laughs> <laughs> He's, I don't think anything will happen to him. Yeah, I think yeah, I mean, probably nothing will happen. Probably nothing will happen. He'll run again. Insane. 
Yeah, what is I, mean, I think he's too like stupid to do espionage. The espionage yeah. thing, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, it's too yeah. big of a word. It's too like a it's too sophisticated yeah. of a thing to throw on Trump. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If he like, did it, he did it on accident, and they're gonna try to build a case, but there's no way he like actually. It just sounds like what a like a, a like a, a smart French spy does. Exactly. Like Trump's going it's behind like alleyways. He's like, wee oui, wee, oui, I have the dog in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Trump with a big beret. <laughs> yeah, yeah. beret on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they call me the folks. <laughs> <laughs> the flowers they bloom in July. Yeah. He's like the Pink Panther. <laughs> yeah, no, like Trump's like scam would be like trying to sell the Kennedys' bed or something. Yeah. Right, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're like, we found uh, you were trying to sell John F. Kennedy's bed on eBay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, like literally, exactly. Yeah, it's like what he would do. He's, yeah. uh, he's like, I got Richard, uh, I got Ronald Reagan's jelly beans, guys, <laughs> five thousand dollars. <laughs> I have a handkerchief that Nancy Reagan spat his cum yeah. onto after a BJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joe, like Trump would try to make like an FBI NFT or something. Like yeah. that's how he would do a scam. Did He's you not sophisticated it? enough to like go to the Chinese and sell secrets and stuff like this. Oh, is this the Drake Fantana? Yeah, dude, Fan uh, Anthony Fantana. Anthony Fantana. Yeah, yeah. Drake like like DM'd him like all angry. Drake about... is going crazy. Did you see that patois video the other day? No. By the way? Oh, is he speaking patois? Now? It's him no. at a concert. Not to distract from this, but it's him at a concert being like, "Listen, what do the islands have in common? Oh, Jamaica, no. the Caribbean." Costa Rica, what do they have in common? Dance hall, Drake. That's what they, if you see me speaking patois, go with it. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh and he sort of like goes in a long patois. Like, I hope God. Drake loses his mind like, 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 fuck it, like Randy Quaid style. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be yeah. amazing? Yeah. Fucking yeah. In like 15 ass. years, Drake, everyone's like, we don't know where Drake is. And he's like, I'm on the run. There is Hollywood hitmen trying to kill me and my wife. Uh, <laughs> Mike, here. Cutters uh, said that he has fake abs. Drake, yeah, that I makes totally buy that. Yeah. They can do that stuff somehow. I no, think I know they, it, that's real, but he's like he says that there's pictures out there that look insane. If, could you do like Drake fake abs? Yeah, yeah, because you can get the ab implants just yeah. put under your. Oh skin. yeah, it's a yeah. real surgery. He looks that you like, can do, but it, it, like when your body fat percentage is too high, yeah, they just sit on top of the fat. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But, so you look so, like a ninja turtle, and you can all. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see somebody's face. Let me see. Right, you can tell from their face that they don't have the body fat had, for abs. Exactly. Yeah, because Drake has always had kind of a like a drunk guy's face. Yeah, yeah. Like a little yeah, it's bloaty. a little swollen. Yeah. yeah, he has a swollen. He yeah. These guys don't want to work out, dude. They no, just no. get all the surgeries no. that make them look like they work out. Well, they take like, roids probably too. You know. Yeah, they take trend. I mean, know? if yeah. these are fake abs, they're not. They're like terrible. Like, doesn't even look. It looks like he had like a fucking. Uh, uh, what's it called when they cut your belly open and you have a baby? A C-section? Yeah, it looks like he had a C-section. He, he has like did, a weird belly. He did that thing where you just press an iron like thing against yep. your belly for a second. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like you have abs. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Anyway, I'm 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 I love the Drakes yeah. possibly. Can you quickly mind. just because it'll be much quicker than this? Can yeah. you play the clip of him speaking patois? Oh yeah. If you type in Drake concert, maybe patois. And somebody took it like on a cell phone of him like on the big screen. Oh, that's the third one. Third one right there. Yeah. I mean, if I had to rate my Jamaican accent, I would say I'm elite. Oh, no. I mean, what does dance hall, patois, the islands all have in common? Chet Drake. Hanks. I mean, Chet Hanks is better at it. Yeah, way better. Yeah. Drake is just so Chet Hanks with like Jamaican musical talent. Just go with it. Drake is white Chet Hanks, dude. I am the island. I don't hate Chet's music. I, I thought he was, you know, he wasn't bad. Honestly, honestly, it wasn't, wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. I agree. What the I mean, hell is wrong with Drake? He's like Jamaican Sean act. Paul. Yeah, he's like losing his mind. Yeah. <laughs> He's like when the body was hot, the body was jumping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me the key, you didn't let me go. <laughs> let me fuck your mom. I'm out the door. <laughs> <laughs> Drake's, Drake's just yeah he's like fucking showing up to like high school basketball games just to bang moms <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Drake has that big Jamaican flag uh, just hood on over his dreads yeah. yeah I don't know the name of it whatever whatever the stupid thing but the fact that he the DM'd Drake. this guy the things he did is like yeah. it does mean he's kind of losing his mind I think that's I think that's it he's losing his mind a little bit because he DM'd this internet reviewer Anthony Fantano yeah. 
over like a, a review that's like I think a year old. Yeah, like a year old, and he's like, your 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 existence is a one. Yeah, a light one. A light one. You get a one because you bagged a, a black girl. Yeah, bomba clat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Drake and then Drake posted his DM. Fantano didn't share right. it. Then Drake shared it. Yeah, Drake was the one who shared it. What? That's true. It just shows you there's like just so there's no way to escape the tragedy. No. It's just like people are so and, fucking And he's going to unravel like a 15 year old girl because that's what <laughs> yeah. he is at yes, heart. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I'm looking he's going to post on Facebook like Stacy didn't come to the dance. We said we we're all going to come <laughs> yeah. to the dance together. No, he's going to it's going to be like he's going to be it's going to be like Britney Spears end. like he shaves his head and his pussy showing he's getting out yeah. of like limos. Yeah. He's attacking yeah. people with an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 2007 Britney. Yeah. 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 It's Drake, bitch. It's Drake, bitch. <laughs> he turned, what if Drake goes trans? Yeah. <laughs> I I can't wait for Drake's train. Downfall. I can't yeah. stand Drake. I, I just don't care. I don't yeah, care I'm not a big fan. It, it just it seems like he's always been an actor playing Drake, and he's kind of like finally snapping a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Mm -hmm. I, I just, mean, he was wheelchair Jimmy. He had the blackface photo. His life's been amazing forever. He had like Did two not good, start from any bottom. Yeah, he had like two good sad albums, and then all of a sudden he's like, "I'm future. We're the same." He's like acting like he sold crack or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Came from like an affluent neighborhood in Toronto. Mm -hmm. You know, I hate him. Can't stand him. He Can't does seem to weasel all over his the way out of any uh, kind of controversy, though. He's amazing. Because he just keeps yeah. putting out a hit. Yeah, that, yeah. that's, yeah. that's how you can, can do anything. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. If you keep doing that, no one can fuck with you. If mm -hmm. R. Kelly had three more hits, he wouldn't have gone to prison this week. Yeah. 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 That's because he just got convicted. Yeah. 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 It was like you just couldn't keep it up after bump and grind, yeah. man. <laughs> if, if you... The Millie Bobby Brown shit was fucking wild. Yeah, Drake was yeah. texting Millie Bobby Brown when she was like He tried 15. to fuck yeah. Millie Bobby Brown? Yeah, yeah. yeah. he was like grooming her. He, who is she? Stranger she's Things. Stranger Things. Girl. I always thought, I'm such an idiot. Like, I literally thought, thought Millie Bobby Brown was like a dance in Harlem. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you thought it was Bobby I Brown. Didn't know yeah, it was I Bobby was Brown. like, I was like, oh, they're doing the Millie Bobby Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I thought it was a shit like 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 right. black dudes did in Harlem before like a bunch of like motorcycles drew, drew, yeah. drove down the street. I do love one of my favorite things is what I discover about new black dance two years after it happened. Like I just figured out about the gritty, right? And then I just Google. I'm like, oh, the gritty. Look at this, dude. Have you heard of the crank that? <laughs> I'm like, no, because you like came on her back and then threw a towel on it, so it's like Superman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see this. Also, I don't. Well, what is Anthony Fantano? He's he, he does the needle drop. He's good, he right? Does, he's, he's actually exposed me to some good. I've never music. agreed with his. Uh, anytime I've clicked on a video and it's something I like, he never has a, the proper opinion on it. Really, yeah, but. he has had some famous bad ones. He has exposed me to some new music, but he, his taste is very kind of weird. Okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. Everybody's talking about the fact that uh, Drake legitimately did actually DM me some very uh, mad. Your salty existence is a light one, and the one is because you're alive. And because you somehow wifed a black girl, I'm feeling a light to decent one on your existence. It's so Canadian. There's something yeah. about the way that's very Canadian like, shit sorry. talking. I'm feeling a light to you know. It's white. Right. Well, he's white. Yeah, he's yeah. It's yeah. Just yeah. Just it's very lame. It's yeah. like a white nerd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's like, listen, my mom uh, taught me how to shit talk. Barbara Streisand was her name. Yeah, right. yeah. He DMs him like, well, I'm rubber and you're glue. <laughs> <laughs> Buster Brown. He goes, sticks and stones, brother. <laughs> It's yeah, all he White Housewife fucking insults. Yeah, yeah. DMs him when you're pointing a finger, you have four pointing right back at you, buddy. He's like, listen, pal. Drake just DMs him. I'm not even mad. I'm just very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, Drake's DMs like, you want to sell this in a dance weird off? And <laughs> awkward. He knows my rating system. You can't destroy me with my own rating system, dude. It's my rating system. Also, really weird that he would bring up the race of somebody's partner uh, even if it is i guess in his own uh dumb way like uh supposed to be positive or like a compliment but anyway i was doing my thing anyway i have a black wife he goes anyway <laughs> i have a black wife yeah to be fair if i had a black wife that's how i would introduce myself to everyone <laughs> yeah yeah you know, jay's favorite more why was black she's over <laughs> see my black wife over there i did it i did it everybody <laughs> i did it the bravest man in america <laughs> Yeah, you just ride her. You just you're on her shoulders everywhere you go, <laughs> with your hands raised like like triumphantly in the air. Yeah, people cheering. I have a black wife. Black wife. Woo! <laughs> Fucking freak the mighty. <laughs> 
business on Wednesday night, as I said in my recent video uh, about Drake DMing me. And uh, yeah, Drake just sort of uh, threw it down. Not the cookie recipe. Look, he sent me these messages and right away the gears in my head start turning. Uh, obviously, you know, we're in a choose your own adventure situation here. What do you do? Do you ignore it? Do you fire back? Do you post it and share with the world that Drake is hating on you for some dumb reason? Firing back, obviously an option and a whole lot of low hanging fruit that could have been thrown Drake's way uh, if I totally wanted to, but I thought that I was- to. Yeah, he did this yeah. whole thing. Like I had a lot locked and loaded, but <laughs> yeah. It would have, I didn't want to do that to him. Yeah, I'm, I'm guys, a great guy. I have a black wife. Do you think this was yeah. a problem for me? <laughs> <laughs> you know the type of abuse I take on a day-to-day -day basis? I was yeah. unfazed. He goes, I got a black wife. I have a black wife. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, you, you guys don't think we get into it? <laughs> huh? My black wife told me I have the ass of a worm the other day. <laughs> <laughs> you know how that feels? <laughs> Uh, I tried to touch her hair and she hit me with a wooden spoon. You know that feels? <laughs> Black women love to do, I, I've noticed this, uh, they do like seminar hands when they talk to people. They'll be yeah. like, let me tell you something, Craig. <laughs> like they do this thing like they're giving a presentation. Like they do a TED talk. On yeah. how much you suck. Yeah. 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 They're like, you with your little dick and your <laughs> tiny white ass. <laughs> Yeah, and then the the brothers famously we've all known do the, the tenant finger. Yeah, <laughs> oh, we they're very pr the presentational people. Hands. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we will uh, we will not achieve salvation until we take down the white devil. <laughs> It's a constant war uh, of those hands and, and then a, a black lady clapping in his face. It's yeah. just a never-ending kind of conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's just constantly getting clapped back at yeah. 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 yeah, he's got like 80% hearing loss at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Right, exactly. <laughs> just put those motherfucking hands away. Quit Why the you say uh -huh. Are you, you in that room? You think you making it? Oh, so you in a little motherfucking <laughs> argument with Drake? Oh, you getting mad? Oh, you getting mad now? Oh, you get? You want to oh, hit me? Mad. You want to hit me? Go ahead, hit me. <laughs> you want to hit me? You won't. You won't. Just, his wife is just seventeen yeah, years old. Like, yeah. You never. She's like, you never make me come. Why'd you make my needle drop, motherfucker? Look at you. Look at your dirty ass Air Force One. Get the fuck out of my face. She drives off in a Nissan Altima. <laughs> She's. <laughs> yeah, just turns turns the car. Material girl, I want you to boo. She's got a plate of shrimp Alfredo. <laughs> <laughs> just always that was the go, weirdest what? example. Yeah, yeah, so like the obvious yeah, like, like, you know, kind black of black. towing the line here, <laughs> yeah, and then John just like, yeah, fucking grape sodas. <laughs> 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 no, trying to hit a grape That's right. Yeah. But it's also, I don't, I don't, I've never heard that before. Shrimp Alfredo. They love that shit. You're always like, you know, they're always like eating zebra gum. You never fought. <laughs> John like one them. black guy that likes shrimp Alfredo, and he's hated it for. I'm gonna defend this. I'm gonna defend this. They every, like every like, So if you ever if you follow the Instagram pages black where they people. make their food, this gets weird when you say and they, they, right? the black, the blacks when they make the food and they sell it from their house and they sell plates and shit. Mm -hmm. Those guys, they, it's always shrimp Alfredo. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Okay. I'm Alfredo. sorry. Fine. I apologize. Yeah. Sorry. Silly and just the way you say it, it, said it made me feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> Coming out of your Nazi lineage <laughs> mouth. Yeah, I mean, last week you literally said your whole family's Nazis, and then this week you yeah, just. I think, I, I think I'm going to stay quiet when it comes yeah. to blacks now. I got to have like, I got to take like a two week yeah. vacation. Keep your mouth shut. Yeah. This is like a game of double dutch. We all have our topics we can do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so when they started talking too much about black women, I'm like, I'm out. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to say something dumb. Uh. DMs would just be like really petty and dumb because honestly, uh, I, I'm just a reviewer. I, I don't know the guy personally. I don't know anything about the guy other than stuff other that, I, that I've seen and I've heard on the internet. Never met him. Don't know his vibe. Don't know his energy. Great guy. What? Never met him. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very good. I don't really know anything about him that uh, you guys, you know, don't uh, already know from just being online and hearing about him. I thought getting personal and getting in his face and getting angry would just be kind of dumb and pointless. And I also thought it would be quite trashy of me to, uh, you know, go onto the internet and uh, say, oh, I oh, drink. Look, 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 here it is. Here it is. Drinks. Drinks. I thought that would be 
uh, not only a little silly, but also would have been better he than kind of the obvious. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Ignoring was an option. Really, and the I best sort of, thing you could do is just like send him like the gif of Wolverine showing his big dick yeah. or something. You know, <laughs> yeah. just go completely stupid. Yeah, back just at like him. just yeah, just like troll him. The yeah, guy yeah. sitting on the bed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. The guy sitting on the I would bed. just send back like the nine eleven commission. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I would just send like, back. This yeah, doesn't the, add up, Drake. Yeah. Right. Anyways. We're not aiming for the truck video. Right. Yeah. right. I said, Mac, why, Gary, why? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, was, it was one of my favorite. You remember Richard Dawkins? We just got on Twitter and ruined his reputation. And yeah. Had, like, he yeah. was like molested in front of everybody and get clowned. He was like, somebody was typing to him. He's like, I don't understand why you blocked my other account. And he's like, oh, apologies. That must have been a mistake. You're on block it. And then he goes, thank you. Now, as I was saying, and then he just sent him the gif of the cartoon wolverine he's holding a towel and then it drops and he's a huge cartoon dick <laughs> swinging back and forth <laughs> to, to richard, richard to richard Dawkins, he richard goes oh now i see why i surmise that you should have been blocked <laughs> blocked again farewell forever <laughs> <laughs> like, how are you like a, you won the nobel prize you're just getting clowned he's by, getting clowned on the internet <laughs> by 17 year old yeah. oh man you so clowned by no. pepe accounts <laughs> it's no country for old men really yeah true like these guys can't keep up no yeah. You know, Chris Rock still posts fucking pictures on Twitter with like the watermark on the them. Getty, Getty images. images. <laughs> oh, they have no clue yeah, what yeah, they're yeah. doing. <laughs> That's yeah, the yeah. best when somebody who was the coolest guy in the world becomes a boomer. It's pretty great. Yeah. Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> decided to do that at first, but then uh, my mind started moving further, and I was like, "How can I turn this into content?" Like, obviously, I can't share the DMs with everybody because that would be silly and trashy. I could tell oh, people so you he DM me, but like, no, if respond. people don't know what the DMs are, who cares? I know. Yeah, make up great. a DM. And the, the two looks like possibilities that, that I had kicking around in my head were, one, the option that uh, I ended up going with, the cookie recipe, um, which... So, okay, so we don't need to listen What's to this. What's this cookie recipe? Yeah, what he sent him back a fake... Re or he, he made it seem like Drake DM'd him at, like, telling him to check out a vegan cookie recipe. Yeah. yeah okay. And he yeah. wrote it out word for word, and he's like, I really want you to try these, like... Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, uh, good one. Like, I you guess shouldn't explain silly, that. That the, the Drake... It would, would do that right because right. it's it's sus yeah because yeah. i hate sus. this guy by the way yeah. Yeah. i hate this guy yeah me too I, i've never really cared about what he he shouldn't does, be reviewing hip-hop honestly because i feel like he doesn't actually like it mm. yeah you know like he's reviewed famously great albums as like fives and sixes and stuff yeah like, like I, I, humorless I, editing I, also and he's like all of his jokes are stupid as fuck I, I well he's know. already huge now so i don't even think he needs to maybe back in the day oh no he's got like millions of subs so yeah. many videos but um may, maybe he was better with the editing but yeah that's it's boring yeah, i just hate him I, i'm sure he's really <laughs> <laughs> joe you look like he is a he's a big weightlifter guy just does deadlifts and uh, bench and squat I mean, all the time. Doesn't look strong. Fantana? Yeah, yeah, Fantana does. Yeah, yeah. you look at him; he's like kind of like uh, pudgy. He doesn't. No, look I don't know, man. He kind of yeah. looks. He looks kind of fat. I don't know, brother. Yeah, it doesn't look like. He's, he's got a decent chest on him. Yeah, he's got a big old chest, bro. I'll die yeah. on this. He looks like <laughs> <laughs> he looks like hipster Sam Hyde. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, I guess that's I hate the little him. beanies. What? Oh, yeah, I've yeah. always hated the little beanies, sucked, like the Popeye yeah. beanies. You were yeah. talking about the migrant caravan. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, John did plane. it again. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. He did it again, folks. <laughs> he got that fifth mic, and it's uh, it's full of racism. Because his nails are black, he's all confident now to make comments like oh, this. Oh, yeah, John, why did you do the nail black thing? Again? I used to do it. He does it all the time. I, I he does it. But why do you do it? I get it's bored. Punk rock, it makes him look hot. I it's think it's sexy. Yeah. It makes you yeah, look he's sexy. Now. It's punk rock. It's it was like, there was nail polish. Jordan like, brought nail polish home, and I was bored. Kind of makes you look bi. Yeah, you know, maybe. All right, John's pan. I'm pan, dude. Yeah, what is pan? Well, well, I, I fucking. Yeah, what is he attracted to? Kitchen utensils? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, I was about to say you beat me to it. I think pan. I gave you a second. I was like, I thought you were looking at me. I was like, what is it? Kitchenware or something? Well, you beat off in an uh, egg beat or something? <laughs> you fuck a banana you bread? Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Pansexual is where you're attracted to somebody's intelligence? No, that's that sapiosexual. I think pansexual is just for people who are too lazy to say they're fucking bisexual. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm All attracted right. to his, and I'm a sapiosexual. Yeah. I just, I want to fuck Einstein. Sapiosexual is yeah. so fucking <laughs> like, oh, Einstein's man. so hot. What a big hog he must have. Yeah. <laughs> My Sounds favorite like you're attracted to lizards. 
Yeah, sapiosexual. sapiosexual. Yeah, 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 like you're attracted to like Dick like Cheney. Sapio. <laughs> My favorite bit John has ever done ever. We we were quarantined together, and uh, living in the same house. And to make me laugh, we'd get Postmates every night. And here's what he would do to the the delivery drivers. He go, hey, thank you so much for uh, for the food. Because by the way, I'm pansexual. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the greatest two oh, weeks. I think I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have one of them on video. No, you sent us a video. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, by the way, I'm pansexual. And then they'd be like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> and John would just go, anyways, all right, thanks. So, yeah. 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 But you know, it was making me laugh. I was delirious at that point because we were trapped <laughs> in a house. It was the funniest fucking thing of all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just watching Magnum PI for like 18 <laughs> hours straight. <laughs> God, that was the best house. It was fun. Tim is yeah. just losing his shit. Yeah, I mean, I had a massive panic attack at that house on weed. Oh, really? The first time I went over there, yeah. And there was that Pink Panther slot machine because you just lived in Austin Powers yeah. set design. Yeah. There was like shag carpeting and like the big hand yeah. chair. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. There was a Pink Panther slot machine. I just smoked like way too much weed and uh, the slot machine went off, but it wouldn't stop. And I just felt like I was getting sucked into the machine <laughs> or something. <laughs> and people are like banging on it, trying to like get it to like unplug it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, felt like, it felt like you were in some kind of like modern art installation. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's supposed to oh, like I thought it was like in the twilight senses. zone. I was like, can I, I feel like if I try to leave this, like it'll just be blackness. outside. <laughs> this house. Yeah. yeah. Like I can't leave. My yeah. favorite Joey bit in that house is you would just started letting the 16 year old down the street, smoke cigarettes in your backyard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That was great. We had a teenage there, but that I'd go out to like put something in the trash and he'd be out there smoking cigs in the alley. And at some point, he just asked me, he's like, dude, could I smoke cigs in your backyard? Yeah, because you live next door. my parents. Yeah. yeah. And I was I was just like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys Full like quarantine. had a young ward. Yeah, yeah, hands. yeah. He's probably like 14 years old. And he yeah. was just some skateboarding kid, like a punk skateboarder that yeah. would just. And then so I'd be like doing the dishes and I'd look through the window and he's just cranking cigs yeah. in our gated back <laughs> Marble backyards. Marble I, I don't know what he was smoking. I feel like 14 year olds always go Marlboro yeah. Rats. Yeah. He's yeah. 27. Yeah. That was just an odd time to be alive. Yeah, the kids always yeah. go for the strongest cigarette there is. Yeah. 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 I remember one time in New York, I saw a 14 year old uh, comedian smoking Marlboro Reds, and I was like, give me, give me those. And I traded my parliaments for the Reds. Uh huh. I remember you told me that. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was like, you shouldn't, you, sh you shouldn't be smoking these Reds. It was Pete Davidson. Yeah, it was Pete. <laughs> it was old Skeet. <laughs> old Skeet. And I go, I know your dad just died in 9 11, which was 13 years ago. <laughs> oh. 9 11. Time. I want to see one of those videos. You know, those videos always go viral where it's like just another day in New York City or like only in New yeah. York. Yeah. And yeah. it's just the footage of the towers falling. <laughs> it has like laughing emojis. Yeah. Like only in New York City. I, I love fall in New York. <laughs> the leaves change in color. The bombs going off in the basement of the World Trade Center building. <laughs> 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 it would be funny because you know they keep like finding it's always weird they'll find like hey there's a new 9-11 video nobody's ever seen yeah yeah before it'd be funny if they just showed one and then it's like just some fucking cop just being like i'm going in there if i if i don't go in there i'm not pete davidson's dad all right <laughs> marches into the building <laughs> that was like actual footage of a guy yeah <laughs> Just Pete Davidson with the mustache, clearly. Because <laughs> his dad was a cop, right? Firefighter. Firefighter. Firefighter, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Firefighter. Yeah. Uh, classic. Very sad. Very sad. Yeah. Very sad. His, his life has been horrible ever since. Yeah. Um, have you ever seen the, 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 this might be a little sad, have you ever seen the footage where they time it up with the, uh, you know, firefighters have those beeping machines on them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, if they if they don't move within thirty seconds, it all it beeps to let you know that like a firefighter is down, so you can find them. Uh -huh. yeah. It's a clip of the towers falling, and you hear it fall, and then there's like thirty seconds of silence, and then just like a thousand just beeps a going beeps. off yeah. at yeah. once. Oh, yeah. It's really Jesus. eerie. I've never seen that. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty brutal. I went there like. Uh, I want to say like yeah. a year I would have started or two. rapping. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sounded like they were all just saying slurs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Just an uncensored, just a censored Eminem album. <laughs> <laughs> now, I went there like a year or two after it happened or some shit. I remember like the giant globe that was in the middle of the World Trade Center. This giant like iron. I wish she went there in two thousand one. I mean, too. <laughs> I would have stopped it, dude. Yeah, I uh, was there in two thousand actually. Yeah. There's a picture of me and really? Ben with like the the really town. how old are you? World Trade Center. Um, we were like, I was ten. You got to find that photo. Dude. Yeah, I'll find it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please yeah. do. We're, all, we're on the Statue of Liberty, and we're taking a photo. And there's the uh, World Trade Center. I went us. Uh, a year later, and the towers were gone. <laughs> 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 well, I remember I looked at the towers, and I go, nobody's ever going to fly a plane into those buildings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Didn't they like remove them from Spider Man and like all sorts of shit? Yes. Yeah. They did. Well, Why did they have to do that? They had a trailer for Spider Man that just came out that was him. It was like a helicopter caught in a web between the two towers. Uh, yeah. They should have just added it to it and like Spider Man's like catching the falling man like with his web. <laughs> <laughs> He's swinging down. He's swinging yeah. everyone to save The Green Goblin is putting those little pumpkin bombs <laughs> yeah, in the basement. The Green Goblin's responsible for the demolition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start seven wars. <laughs> Don't forget about Tower Seven. <laughs> He's got his webs between the towers. Yeah, He's like right struggling to hold them up. There's a lot of important documents in Tower Seven. <laughs> yeah. Joey Diaz is just there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah. yeah. Well, Yep. It was an American tragedy. American <laughs> tragedy. And, uh, but it's always fun to talk about. It's fun to talk about. <laughs> That's like, it's weird how it's just not even a thing anymore. No, it doesn't all. even feel real to me. No, I see footage all. of it, no. and I'm like, yeah. No. People yeah. are starting to forget, actually. And yeah. they actually yeah. no, are for real. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also weird. There's like adults now who don't remember it at all. There's yeah. like 27 yeah. year olds oh, who have yeah, no yeah. idea they're, memory. They're people who are born after 9 are 21 now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this 9 11 sucked, dude. Nobody fucking. Yeah, and people didn't pop <laughs> off. <laughs> no one did anything. Yeah, we tried to do a kickback. Nobody yeah, usually can. out here, it's like everyone's shooting guns in the air and yeah. all the Akbar and all that shit. Nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. I do. I don't think I've told this on the podcast. I do, I do have a, 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 a Muslim friend who was. He's American, but his dad was working overseas in like Dubai. Mm -hmm. And so he was going to school in Dubai during 9 11, like in fourth grade. And he said that the teachers wheeled the, the fucking TV in and all the kids started cheering for 9 11. Dude. It was oh, like Khabib wow. had just won. Yeah. <laughs> They're all going insane. Yeah, so yeah. Fucking yeah, off yeah. He was like, he was like, it was like people were like celebrating, like yeah. wilding out. Yeah. He was like, it was great. Yeah. Cause like you're a kid, you don't know what's going on. Yeah. He was like, he was like, I thought it was like a great day. I had no idea what, like, what was yeah, I remember happening. waking up. My dad was like watching it and I was just at the end of the bed and I was like excited. I didn't have to immediately go to school because they yeah. were distracted by something. And I was like, this is crazy. I was like, it was like fun. It was yeah. like yeah. Star Fox or something. I was, I was like, "Ooh, huh? look at the plane!" Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was hyped. I got two days off of school. Honestly, yeah, yeah. I yeah. was at school when it happened. I was in speech pathology class, and some lady ran in and was like, "The plane hit the Pentagon two two towers and fell down." We watched it for like a period, and then they sent us all home. I thought it was like funny. Yeah, I thought and then I got home and my mom was like, "This is very, very sad." Why I got, I got in trouble for laughing at the people jumping off the fucking <laughs> building. <laughs> really? Of course yeah. you did. Yeah, oh, of course you did. did. A teacher pulled me aside and was like, "You can't do that." Yeah. Dude. That was your first live leak video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what started it all. Man, I don't. Yeah. They didn't let us off school. My mom took me straight to school that day. My dad I, yeah, did. Too. I, was, like I was in, She was just like. She was just like nothing's happening. Well, yeah. I was in small town South where they're like they're gonna hit the first national bank next. <laughs> <laughs> like a, right. ta a town of twenty thousand people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, out here in LA, people are like they're gonna hit Zangu. Right. <laughs> We were like, I hope the big spring dentist office is okay. There was a lot of kids not there that day, though. Like, I, yeah. I remember, That's like, where I was living Big Spring, Texas. Big Spring, Texas. Yeah. yeah. I remember there was a lot of, uh, there was, wasn't that many kids in class. And then I, I remember th even as a kid, I was like, well, what do their parents think is going to happen? Like, what, yeah. what do they think? Like the teachers are just like out of nowhere. They've been teaching us for fucking 20 years and they're just going to be like, Allah, <laughs> like, they just start Bunch killing all the kids. Cells. Yeah, sleeper cells. Yeah. It's a long con. Yeah. Yeah. These Montessori teachers have secretly been in al <laughs> been Well, I remember the news was also so funny because it would be like two weeks after and they're like. 12 days since 9-11 happened. We don't really know what's going on, but yeah. that was fucked up, guys. Yep. Yeah, yeah, they were just in the countdown. Like, I don't, it, I don't know. We're not sure what's next. I don't know. Yeah. Do you they remember the dog. <laughs> Do you remember the countdown to the invasion of Iraq? Yeah. There was a you countdown? You don't remember that? Yeah. There was a countdown? They gave him an yeah, ultimatum. Was a, it was they a kickoff. They gave him a 24-hour. Yeah, like, it was the ball oh. dropping. Yeah. It was crazy. And then, like, on Ryan Fox Seacrest. News, <laughs> I remember sitting there watching Fox News. Yeah, Dick Clark. Yeah. Dick Clark. Not with his stroke. It was literally like a... It was crazy. They had, like, all the missiles and shit they were going to use, like, flashing on the screen. I, like, they were going to hit him with this first. I remember being in... Uh, uh, lifting pr like practice preschool we'd have to go to the field house and lift and we we're all doing squats in preschool no 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 in middle school oh, 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 Jesus. In pre i mean before, before school, school. <laughs> yeah and we were all doing like squats and deadlifts and Texas then we just were watching yeah. the bombs hit like baghdad and we're like fuck you yeah, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> loading like more plates on the bar <laughs> <laughs> all the humvees driving off into the desert yeah. like, they're lucky they're, we're not yeah. fucking old enough to go over there motherfuckers yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. i specific i literally i'm not kidding i specifically remember telling 
telling somebody, I'm like, this will be over in a week. <laughs> yeah. And it was yeah. 20 years. 20 years. Yeah. I was 14. I was like, I know, I have no history. This it will was be over, in over in a week. Though. I mean, yeah, Basically. we had Baghdad in a week. Did you, don't you listen to the president? We're going to mop the floor with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I also saw something uh, the other day that was like the death toll for Afghanistan and Iraq since 2000 versus military suicides. Yeah. And it was just like it's going across the years. And the death toll is just like this. The suicide rate is just like literally like 80 degree angle. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think six thousand in 20 years, 6,000 people died in the war and 147 like committed suicide during Jeez. the same time. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's just so a, riff on that. It's a little obviously bit. not very fun over there. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they all kill themselves because it's just so dry. And yeah, the hell? So, what's so depressing about it? <laughs> Jesus. Well, at least they have liquid death. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's head to the Patreon. All right, bye. Bye. bye.